Philippine mga lods Hello guys, welcome back to YouTube channel natin, Jerez TV. For today's video guys, we have to repair our clutch cable of our motorcycles, Kaigo. This is the problem. This called is clutch rod or clutch arm. Okay, first step is to remove the oil in the engine. Get some number 13 wrench to remove the nut to remove the previous old engine oil and next step guys is remove the pipe ok remove the pipe from the engine just use number 10 and number 18 wrench tools next step is the step guard or the step guide in the engine guard engine support and yeah and then remove the step guard or the side stand and then remove the cover case in the clutch housing use number 8 tools to remove all the nap and there you have the sludge of the previous oil you have to clean that first before removing the clutch rod ok we clean the clutch housing we remove the lock pin of the clutch rod. Just use the small long nose and then push upward the clutch rod. Push up gently to remove the old clutch rod or the damaged clutch rod. And there you have it. This is the old and damaged clutch rod. It had a brake break or a crack inside. There's an attachment there. You have to remove that also to clean. As you see. And then we buy the clutch rod. Skygo brand. This is the brand new. In the motorcycle mart. Or the LWC cycle mart. Shout out. We use the gasket. And the new oil. And number 8. Sandpaper. Okay, we just clean the housing by using a uh, sandpaper number 800 grit. Just clean inside and outside. So even smooth the surface we put the clutch rod. Clean also outside so that it can be clean and smooth gently inside of the housing. Just use the sandpaper. 800 you can also use 1000 grit of sandpaper as of now as you see the old and the new one the green have a green gasket is the new one it's much brighter it's a stainless steel clutch rod there's a indicator of that is the green one it's the new as you see we have the green gasket I used as that is a separate a separate spare part. We have to provide the gasket so that the oil cannot leak from inside. That is the old one. The original have a black o-ring. It's called is the o-ring. And this is the attachment assembly of the new clutch rod. It has a spring and it has a what you call that a connecting rod inside of it and there's a pin there's no pin there's no pin inside the new clutch rod you have to use the old pin it's almost the same size and you have to testing inside the clutch rod in the clutch housing it's very smooth because we clean that and we put some grease outside of the clutch rod remember put the grease outside not in the inside 
because it has it has lubricated inside because the engine oil of the use of engine oil and then set the lock inside with the spring and then attach the new clutch rod downward and then connect the assembly with the spring inside just put pressure downward and then you have you have installed the new clutch rod or what you call is the clutch arm okay, put some grease outside so that it can even smooth when you pressing the clutch rod and then put some pin lock pin so that it cannot be removed from inside from outside and then use the long nose to lock and then there you have it it's very smooth clutch attachment and we gonna back the clutch housing into the engine just clean it first and then put inside it's very easy you can do it all by yourself and then use the nut Number eight, number eight screw, screw bit, and then attach the cable, clutch cable from the clutch rod or clutch arm, and then adjust it, and then back the all the all the parts you have removed before, and then you have to use. The new oil, mobile, supermoto, like kind of man. And then we have to install the new oil that we changed oil previously. And then don't forget the, to back all the all the parts you have put out and put it together. And then the last part is to put the new oil of your engine. Remember, you have to check all the engine before you install or put the oil because that is the last part of the process. Okay. And then we're gonna check the oil is good to the check gauge. And very, as you see, the oil is very clear, it's very brand new. so much hope you can help don't forget to like share and subscribe hit the notification bell and see you in my next vlog peace out